Happy New Year everyone and welcome to 2021. Hope you've had a good start to the year. As for me, had a pretty quiet one and um, it's been blowing its guts out lately so I haven't been fishing yet. That's all good. I've thrown together some of my favourite moments from 2020. Uh, the first one being the intro because it makes a good intro but um, it's a highlight for me because it just did so well on YouTube. I didn't really catch anything fantastic that day. I um, got a queen snapper. That was the best fish. But uh, it just, yeah, it took off on YouTube. So it definitely deserves a spot in my highlights and uh, deserves a spot in the intro. Uh, next up is uh, the first trip that I went on at the start of 2020. With my mate Dane, we took a little boat to a remote island, camped there for three days, and the fishing was very disappointing to be honest. Um, but on the very last morning, I'd all but given up, and I thought, bugger it, I'm gonna put a crab on his bait. The last couple of casts before we pack up and head, and this is what happened next. Right here. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's huge. Good catch. Quite possibly. Yeah, he's a big blue. Oh. Big blue. Oh, said I. Can you grab that line? Oh, hang on. He's going back down. Make sure that line ain't twisted. The rope. Yeah. We on? Got him. Swap positions and oh we got a set right. hold on Got him. Oh, yeah. Looks huge. That's a huge fish. Anyway, that was my PB personal best blue groper. Uh, I'd say it was probably between 25 and 30 kilos. Anyway, next up. I did a trip up north with another mate of mine, Ryan. Uh, we camped for five or six days, I forget. Pretty close to a whole week on an island up in the Pilbara. And um, kicked off so many awesome species, but I'm gonna throw this one in there. My first ever uh, Spanish mackerel. Yep. Hopefully this is my first Mackie, but it's not going very hard yet. Yeah, there we go. Yoo-hoo! Look at that run.
If I can. Am I recording? Just double check. Red flashing light? Yeah. Good. Yeah, we'll just try and wash him in. If I don't get sharked. Oh. My first Mackie would be cool. What's the leader? 100. No, he's just going out anyway. Sick. First ever Mackie. Oh, I don't want to get closer. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, after the Pilbara trip, I came back down south to around Albany and um, I had just been burling up to try and get some groper to come in. I'll take these off. So I'd just been burling up to try and get some groper to come in. I was going to try and get a groper on fly <coughs> and just had tied a crab fly on. I look in the water and I see a kingfish, yellowtail kingfish or yellowtail amberjack, whatever you want to call it. Swim past so I quickly swap flies. First cast in. Bang, I was on. Yep, eight straight out. Oh. All right, now we have to land this sucker. Far out, they got some power. And I'd say it's not even big. That's actually quite a good sized kingfish. Oh. Holy crap, he's a good one. He's a lot bigger than I expected. Holy moly. I can't believe that I just ticked that. That's actually a good sized kingy. Might give him a measure. That is amazing. Anyway, that fish went, I think it went 110 to the tip, tip to tip, about one meter tip to fork. So I was very stoked on that. Next up is a camming trip I did with my mate Dane. And it was the second morning of the trip. It had been very slow fishing, but um, I was just throwing around a plastic on the light outfit early in the morning. And uh, I scored this pink snapper. Um, I'm putting this on, even though it's not a massive fish, I rarely struggle to catch pink snapper land base for some reason. I, I probably get a few every year, but um, other people catch a lot more than me. I get lots of jewfish, but struggle with the pink snapper for whatever reason. So, I'm going to put this one in there. Awesome fish on the light gear off the stones. So, I was pretty pumped on it. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. It grabbed on the drop. Yeah, it's decent. Maybe. I think it's a joy. Oh, uh, probably like a 60. But I've only got light lines, so. Yes. 
I, I was dropping and then I went to feather it and it started taking off and I was like quick click the bail arm over <sighs> No. Nah. Bring the gaff. It's got some weight. Oh, it's a snapper. Snapper. Yeah. He's got a fish with him. It's a good size snapper. Careful, yep. You alright? Drag him up, he might be alright. Just slowly. <laughs> How's that? Beautiful south coast pink snapper. Look at those spots. Such a cool looking fish, eh? Smash that. Beautiful. Look at old coconut ice strike again. Yeah. He's still Good got his snapper on 30 pound. Still got his man fire. chompers. Yeah, he's got a good set of teeth on him, mate. So Very finally, nice. we caught a fish to make the trip worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> One fish, that's all it takes. Final fish is a West Australian Jewfish on fly, which I ticked with my mate Dane. Uh, it was just a ridiculous day's fishing. Like, we just caught fish after fish after fish. It was, it was crazy. I don't know if I'll ever be able to have a day as good as that again. We will see. But it was really windy and I was, I'd been trying to get this fly into the right zone to hook up a jewfish because I kept catching them on plastics. And then I finally managed to get a cast in the right spot and I had a heavier fly on so it sunk. And as soon as I got that fly where I wanted to get it, I was on. And the reason why it's such an achievement to get a West Australian jewfish on fly is it's a pretty prize catch to get one off the rocks. I do get them regularly, but um, I'm always happy to see one turn up. They're not, not a common thing. Um, and to be able to find a location and the conditions to actually get a fly to the fish is what would make it so difficult. And that's what I managed to pull off on this particular day. Fish on! Don't know what it is! It's a Jew fish, man! It's a Jew! It's a Jew! Yes! Come on, you! Yes! I might not need the net. Get lift. Yes! 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 Oh, I can't believe it! I can't believe it. That's eh? so sick. That is so cool. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thanks heaps for watching everyone. Wish you all the best for 2021. And um, we'll see you on the next adventure when this wind dies off and I'm able to get out there and uh, catch some fish. See us.